With Sunu AI, you can create some amazing AI-generated music. The problem is they don't really have any documentation, but by analyzing the top songs, I was able to find some patterns that give you full control over how your music turns out. Let's dive right into those prompting tips. And if you don't know what Suno AI is, I happen to do a video about that. You can watch right here. And if you want to know how to make full length songs with Suno AI, I've got a video about that right here. When you jump into Suno AI, you have this create tab you can click on. This allows you to create music. If you click on custom mode, it'll even help you create random lyrics. So you can click on this, for example, and it'll come back with a set of lyrics that you could use to start a song. What you'll start to notice if you're paying attention is there is some structure to the way that it returns its lyrics. So you can see it, for example, uses verse inside of brackets. It has braces around the word groggy here, and then it also has chorus in brackets over here. Well, that got me thinking, what do these actually tell the AI to do and how can you start to manipulate it? What other options are there out there? And so I set about to analyze all of the top tracks here. And the first one that I saw something really interesting in was Turkey Time. If you look at Turkey Time, it has the verse, it has brackets and braces around some of these words, and then it also has a bridge section down here, which I hadn't seen in another song. This is something to bridge between the chorus and the second part of the chorus. It essentially just repeats these lines over and over. You'll notice too, down at the bottom, there's this guitar outro and an outro section. So let's piece this all together, all the things that I've found so far. So you can start off a song by just saying start and then do intro. This keeps a short, brief intro at the beginning of the song. Oftentimes it'll just jump right into the first verse after a couple of chords. Now the verse section is pretty self-explanatory. This is the first part of the song, the actual kind of main verse it's going to be saying. But then these braces, you can put words in between them and it's actually going to use backup singers to perform those pieces. So you could do like a whole section of words, a whole section of a verse, and then you could have backup singers sing either repeated parts or specific segments of that verse, which is pretty cool. Bridge, this is a way to kind of bridge between the verse and the chorus. And you can have this repeat the same line multiple times, for example. Another really interesting thing I found about the braces though, was you can also put other things in there. So record scratching, this works almost every time. You can have it actually scratch a record like a DJ would, and that fills in there. You could put other things like guitar solo or even drum solo. Finally, we have our chorus. And again, I used a section here, so it'll repeat. I use the word outro to make the end of the song fairly brief and then end just to give it that sort of wrapped up ending. And of course, this is a really brief example, but I want to show you how this actually sounds. So listen for these individual pieces now that you know how some of these work. Here's the first example. I woke up this morning feeling kind of strange. Looking out the window, everything had changed. The rain was pouring down. 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 You notice in that one it repeated the bridge multiple times. I don't know why it did that. In the other songs, it didn't. You heard that section when it said, looking out the window, everything had changed. And then you hear the guy say, had changed. So again, that was kind of cool that you can inject that. I didn't hear any record scratching in that one, but let's take a look at a couple of others. I woke up this morning, feeling kind of strange. Looking out the window, Everything had changed, the rain was pouring down, the rain was pouring down, the rain was... There's a record scratching. I think that's really cool. So that one, the record scratching really worked well. You can see that 
it sort of started repeating some of the lines again. I don't know why it does that. I don't know how you can prevent that, but cool effect nonetheless. Let's check out one more example. I woke up this morning feeling kind of strange. Looking out the window, everything had changed. Well, that's interesting. It added the record scratch to the had changed there too. So I wonder if it's like an overall style guide, maybe when you put some of those parameters in there. Interesting. Could be the bridge next. The rain was pouring down. The rain was pouring down. The rain was. That was awesome. It's a beautiful surprise. Finding joy in the moments that you least expect. Brightening up the gray, chasing all the clouds away. Sunshine in the rain is a feeling you won't forget. Won't forget. That's awesome. That one kind of nailed all the different pieces. You had that amazing echo in the had change portion and the record scratching throughout the bridge was awesome that was great so go ahead and experiment with that i know it's a quick video i just wanted to get that out there because i thought it was pretty cool that there are these extra controls i'm going to put all of the descriptions of the tags that i've found down in the video description and i'm going to keep a running dock of this over on my patreon page which will be linked down in the description as well let me know in the comments if you find any cool examples of your own and if you want to share any of your own Suno AI creations. Otherwise, as always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. We'll see you next time. Thanks. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Breaking down AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech AI, earning the renown.